Hello, this is just a video into one of my latest journals that I've been working on. This one's just a regular moleskin journal. Um, it's one of the ones with the plain paper. So to be honest, um, I haven't really liked these moleskin journals in the past. And that's only because I find the papers a little bit thin when you're using different things like watercolour paint. But what I have found, and this is pretty much just by seeing what other people have done with moleskin journals on Instagram, um, basically what I've seen people do is they cut out um, art paper from different journals and then they'll stick them into the moleskin journal and they do sort of like a mixed media um, cut and paste journal type thing. So ever since I started doing that technique I absolutely love it. The front cover here, the background that you see is a postcard from Flow magazine and the sticker is one of my designs from my 100 day painting challenge. You can see more of that on my Instagram, uh, Jess Freeman illustration. This is the paint I used for 51 days basically of my challenge and that's the paint I used for this elephant. This is actually a sticker and um, they're available in my Etsy shop if you want to buy them. I'll open the front cover and this is the first page. So this illustration here, I was inspired by this book, The Tawny Scrawny Lion. It's actually a golden book and it's one of my favorite golden books. Anyway, I was loving this fish because I saw it in the book. I'll show you. This little fish here, I really, really loved him. So I wanted to paint him in my journal. So this is just Micador watercolor paint. It's just your basic watercolor paint. It's got this lid that opens and you can mix your colors here and you get such a great selection. So the background that you see here, I've used, uh, just these scrapbooking papers that you can get them at any discount store. I think the reject shop is my favorite place for papers like that. Also Deso and also some washi tapes. And basically they're all from discount stores as well. And this page here, I've pretty much used gouache as my main um, art supply and I've gone over in different places with a fine liner pen so I just use these Stadlier pigment liners just you know to add a bit more detail basically the background is one piece of paper I painted that with gouache and with my gouache I store them in these little containers it's got a lid on it but I sort of just let them dry out and then just add bits of sprays of water whenever I need to use them. So moving on to my next page. This is acrylic paint that I've used, not the Liquitex Basics, just an ordinary student, student paint that I had. And this is fine liner that I've added some detail with. Background is wrapping paper page from Flow magazine. This little duck is another illustration from a golden book. And um, it's done with some colored pencils. Um, and then this under part here is just Again, the cheap watercolor Micador paints. This little cat here, the background is one piece of paper painted with gouache. I stuck that in. And then on top, I've got another gouache illustration with this cute little kitty cat. 
and the bow sort of added a bit of fine liner pen with that. So then this next page, this tiger I painted with the Liquitex Basics paint. This shirt that he's got on is another postcard from Flow Magazine, which I just cut out in the shape of his shirt. And then this background piece of paper is the scrapbooking paper. And then I painted the um, lines in between with the watercolour paint. And then this is another piece of scrapbooking paper on the top and on the bottom as well. This is all uh, gouache paint except for a few fine liner details around. So this page, scrapbooking paper, little circles I cut out in a contrasting or complementing um, colour. And then on top, just with a basic ballpoint pen, just added in some illustrations. And this one here is a total mixed media page. Um, got some washi tape. The gold is just gold scrapbooking paper. These flowers are bits of paper and then different shapes of paper cut out and stuck on top. And then painted shapes with gouache. And then adding some leaf and grass details with the gouache as well and a few more flowers around. And this one, scrapbooking paper in the background, coloured pencil illustration cut out, stuck on top. And this one is mixed media, all sorts of different techniques used here. And as well as some stamped letters that have been cut out of just craft sticker paper. So this page is all watercolour and to draw my shapes and my uh, animal, my little piggy, the flowers around, I used the uh, Prismacolor neon pink and then I went over it with the watercolour paint. This page here, the little animals are done in gouache paint and the spots are just the watercolour paint and then added some washi tape to go with that. This page, the little toucan, he's been done with watercolour paint the background is scrapbooking paper and then I just went in between with yellow and orange watercolour paint and then I put some pink watercolour up here to contrast and, and coordinate with the pinks in here. This page, the background is a gouache pattern and then some more scrapbooking stuff. This is like scrapbook card and some washi tape and a little square of cute little birds. That was some scrapbooking paper I think one of my pen pals sent me which is adorable. Absolutely love that. So this page here, the background is scrapbooking paper and the illustration is done with watercolour paint so I went for a blue theme with this one so this page here the background is dots and a frame around the outside with watercolour paint and this is the scrapbooking card again this is those different textured wools that you can buy so I just sort of wrapped that around a piece of washi tape card 
and um, stuck that in and drew a little piggy. So this one, acrylic paint for the background, scrapbooking paper for these two triangular things, and then these little bird stickers, this one on that side as well, and one up there, and some scrapbooking paper just around the outside. And this little flamingo and this tree I found on some gift bag paper. So I just cut those out, stick them, stuck them in. And this page here is illustrations from one of my favorite, favorite childhood uh, books that I used to read. And I still have it. It was called Grunt, the monster who wouldn't eat his vegetables. And he was a naughty, sneaky monster that would feed his vegetables to the, cat, the dog and the cat. So this is Jake the cat and he used to throw spinach at Jake the cat. Um, Grunt, he really, really liked trains, like that was his thing, he was really into trains and he built a train track all through the house, so yeah, he was super cool. Uh, and this was my favourite quote from the book, and it says, The soggy green mess hit Jake the cat in the face, meow. Michael Salmon. He was the author of the book and he also drew all the pictures. So yeah, shout out to Michael Salmon. So these are more illustrations from the tawny, scrawny lion. These illustrations I did with watercolour paint. And this top yellow piece of paper is watercolour paint. So I kind of did it like a wash for the top part, scrapbooking paper for the bottom, and this is the page where I found the illustrations, so there's the lion and there's the rabbit, so kind of same, kind of different, <laughs> don't really think it's exactly the same, but you know, it's based upon based upon these illustrations. And finally, this is the last page that I've done in here. Uh, it's just a little classic French inspired page. You've got your bicycle, you've got your same mussy bicoup, and you've got your croissant, and a little house. So this house that I have here, I used Uni Posca brush pens, Liquitex paint marker, Dumbo jewel tip pen marker brush thinger majig. I don't really know what it's called. And also this aqua brush marker that I filled with Liquitex ink, which is really fun. And also the Prismacolor pencil, I use that as well, and I use that for this here and this here. So yes, I hope that you enjoyed looking through this journal with me. Um, please contact me with any questions that you have. Um, yeah, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye!